So today, the Portland Thorns introduced their new head coach to replace Rianne Wilkinson, who resigned last month. The Canadian Hall of Famer stepped down after one season on the job after saying players lost faith in her after exchanging romantic text messages with longtime Portland star Emily Menges. A league investigation cleared Wilkinson of any wrongdoing for exchanging those text messages. Meanwhile, Mike Norris earns the promotion to become the fifth head coach in club history. Norris was a member of Wilkinson's coaching staff as associate head coach, while Portland won a third league title. Fox 12's Nick Krupke went one-on-one -on -one with the new leader in Soccer City as the club looks for stability and a new owner after Merritt Paulson announced his intention to sell the franchise. I think it's a natural next step for me. I think, uh, did I anticipate it happening now? No. The time is now for Mike Norris to be a first-time head coach in the NWSL. The imposter syndrome in you just naturally, uh, am I ready? Did the players trust you? The 43-year-old is a third leader for PTFC in the past three seasons. I've got a fairly strong voice that carries. I don't feel like I over talk. I, think I prefer to speak when, when needed and be impactful with that. I think that's just who I am, I'm a bit more level. Norris grew up as a goalkeeper in Newcastle, England. My parents had a big influence on me. I mean, I feel like I'm a pretty grateful person, pretty humble, curious, caring. So I've got to give me, me parents credit for that. Big Mike is big on tactics and strategy, and the women's game is where he's found his fit. As long as I can remember, that's where my path has been. I've, yeah, I don't know. It's maybe it's just who I am as a person, and having girls at home, it's, it just seems like a bit of a natural fit for me. A gold medal winning assistant with Team Canada and a league champion in Soccer City, Norris knows just what all the Portland players have gone through to reach the top and remain there. They've got a lot of resilience and persistence in terms of what they've been through um, to discuss. But I, th I do think just the joy of being on the field was a big part for this group and just the hunger to, to be the best and, and grow individually and as a group was a, was a huge piece. Norris is an avid cycler and foodie from sunrise to sundown. So you heard about the breakfast club. You're a morning guy, like on road trips, and you invite, you want to be the first one in the hall and you're already eating and you invite everybody to come down and have a good chat. Meals in general, uh, I have a an appetite that seems to creep up on me <laughs> too often uh -huh. throughout the day. So I do, I think meals, again, I think it comes from my parents, it comes from my wife as well, is how we protect meal time. Because um, this job can be fast and furious, you can get just so, like, sucked into it. You just, if you don't stop, and I think meals is a time where everybody, staff and players can just detach, and I think we have to protect that. And the time together? Yeah, the time together, for sure, and I mean, I've been up a couple of hours, so I'm pretty bubbly at by eight o'clock. <laughs> Some of the players aren't so much, but yeah. yeah, it's it's something I've done in most environments I've been where we've had the opportunity to have team meals together. Together is what the Norris family will be, with Mike's wife and two young daughters moving down from Vancouver, BC. I think the Pacific Northwest is where we're most comfortable. Um, I'm not really a beach person. I don't like it too hot. <laughs> I do like four seasons for me to to being back to being a dad on a daily basis because at times last year I just felt like a bit of a vacation dad which yeah it's it's not the best so yeah. it's a huge it's a huge piece for us as a family to be back together and take on this journey and next challenge together let's go play some soccer yeah that's that's what I'm waiting for I can't wait to Norris first order of business is to fly to Philadelphia for Thursday's NWSL draft ahead of season 11 for the league Portland holds the 5th and 12th overall picks in round 1.